The RevXE Mach 3 is part of an extensive line of state-of-the-art eccentric eddy current separators Eries offers to the recycling industry. Maintenance has been simplified, including rotor and splitter setup and adjustment. This equipment includes one or more extremely powerful magnetic circuits. The magnetic field may be much stronger than the Earth's background field at a distance several times the largest dimension of the equipment. If you use a heart pacemaker or similar device, you must never approach the equipment. To avoid serious pinch type injuries caused by objects attracted to the magnet, keep all steel and iron objects well away from the equipment. Keep credit cards, computer disks, and other magnetic storage devices away from the equipment. Keep electronic devices, such as computers and monitors, away from the equipment. Please contact Eries if you have a question regarding these precautions. First, we will cover rotor position setting adjustment. Remove the guarding and access panel near the rotor. Loosen the bolts connecting both rotor end plates to rotor mounting plates. Pull the T-handles on both sides of the unit to disengage pins from the index brackets. Notice the handle. It allows the rotor to move between the 12 and the 1 o'clock positions as desired. Re-engage the T-handle pins in both index brackets. Tighten the bolts connecting both rotor end plates to rotor mounting plates. Reinstall the front side covers. Setting the splitter in position is next. The splitter position can be adjusted by rotating its handle, and the angle can be adjusted by moving the angle lever. The splitter length can be changed by adjusting the position of the extension plate. The splitter and rotor position settings will vary depending on material being sent to the machine. Ideally, a factory representative should be present during startup to establish these settings and explain the various adjustments that may be required to optimize recovery. Move the splitter forward or backward, depending on the material. It also moves upward or downward. Belt speed and splitter placement changes from product to product and size to size, so you may need to experiment to find the best combination of belt speed and splitter placement. By observing, you can move the splitter as needed. This graphic represents acceptable performance of the eddy current separator. Thank you for watching this video. It is part of a three-part series about the Erie's RevXE Mach 3 eddy current separator. Please check out other Erie's videos on our YouTube channel or contact us at the telephone number shown on the screen.